In this section, we are going to talk about the average rate of change. If y equals f of x, then the ratio delta y over delta x, delta y is the difference of two y values, delta x is the difference of the two x values, or we say delta y over delta x is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, where y is the function of x or f of x, so y2 is f at x2, and y1 is f at x1. As you recall, this is the slope formula. Another way we say the slope formula is the same as the formula to find the average rate of change, which is the change in y per change in x. Let's see the example. We look at this graph. The graph of f of t is provided. Find the, the average rate of change of the function f t from t1 equals 12 to t2 equals 18. From the graph at t1, which is 12, the function value is 74. So I'm going to write over here. So f at t1, which is the same as f at 12 equals 74, where t2 equals 18, the function value at 18 is 78, so it's the f at t2 is f at 18, the value of the function is 78, so we, can, we are going to find the average rate of change. which is the function value at t2 minus the function value at t1 divided by t2 minus t1. Then we just replace with the numbers. The function at t2 is 78 minus function at t1, which is 74, all divided by t2, 18 minus t1, which is 12. And then simplify the number. The numerator gives us like four, the denominator gives us a uh, six, and then the number simplify one more time to be two over three. So two over three or two thirds is the the average rate of change of the function f t. Let's look at another example. This time the function f of x is given as negative two divided by the quantity two x minus one. X one is three. X two is three point five. To find the average rate of change, we are going to get the value of the function at x1, which is the function at 3. To compute it, we just replace it as the way that you evaluate the function value. It is negative 2 divided by 2 times 3 minus 1, which is negative 2 divided by 5. And then another value that we need is the function of x2 or the function at 3.5. Substitute in the function, we got negative two divided by two times 3.5 minus one, which is two times, um, see, which is negative two divided by seven minus one or six, and then simplify to be negative one over three. And then set it up to find the average rate of change of the function. which is the function at x2 minus the function at x1, all divided by um, x2 minus x1. The function at x2 is negative one third. Function at x1 is negative two fifths, all divided by x2, which is 3.5 minus x1, which is three. And the number, after we simplify, we will get 2 over 15. Let's see one more example. In this one, the function is square root of 3x plus 1, where x1 is 3, x2 is 6. So we compute the function at x1, which is the function at 3. Replace in the function, we get square root of 3 times 3 plus 1, which is square root of 10. 
and then the function at x2 or the function at 6, we will get square root of 3 times 6 plus 1. Or 3 times 6, that's 18 plus 1, going to be 19, square root 19. And next, we put together, follow the, the average rate of chain formula. f of x2 minus f of x1 all divided by x2 minus x1. So f of x2 is square root of 19 minus f of x1 or square root 10 all divided by x2 which is 6 minus x1 which is 3. We get mean square root of 19 minus square root 10 all divided by 3. And this is the exact solution form. If you are asked to put in the decimal form of the solution, put in a calculator and we should get the values about 0 0.39887 and so forth.